Disclaimer The credit of this content that I am about to share to you should be given to Attorney Rixi Cruz Angeles who explained why the ABS-CBN issue should be put in perspective. There is a possibility that ABS-CBN will no longer be granted for their franchise renewal because of the hard-hitting questions raised by some members of the Congress which they were unable to answer since they applied four years ago in 2015 during the previous administration. Congress knows something that we do not know. According to then Congressman Jonathan De La Cruz, here were the questions they were poised to ask to ABS-CBN during the series of franchise hearings. ABS-CBN never responded to the questions and never submitted the required documents after the preliminary hearing when these questions were brought up. None of the ABS-CBN executives even showed up. Here are the following questions. Were you able to reacquire ABS-CBN? Did you pay for it? Or was it just handed over to you? Who are the owners? Who were the stockholders in 1986? Who were the stockholders when you renewed in 1995? How long have you held the frequencies for the radio and television stations? Are you aware that you are supposed to surrender the same after 50 years of continuous use? Is Gabi Lopez a Filipino citizen? Why was he using a U.S. passport until 2002? Are there any other foreigners in your board or management? Can you provide us with your financial statements from 1986 to 2014, including your tax payments, fees, and other charges? When did you offer the 30% share in ABS-CBN as provided for in the conditions of your franchise. Who are the stakeholders of record from 1986 to 2014? What is World Attack Company? How many shares does it have in the company? Is it the same as ABS CBN Holdings? If so, who are the principal shareholders? How many PDRs did you issue and when? Who are holding these PDRs? What is the present value of these PDRs? Have you been paying taxes as well on this? Please submit the list of banks you have been dealing with and how much you owe to each. Is it true that you had a 1.6 billion loan with DBP which was written off. When was this written off and why? Do you have any other loans with the government banks? Do you have existing contracts with independent producers, talent agencies, and talents? Please submit these contracts. 
are you aware if taxes has been paid out of this payment made to these entities or persons? You have been a big endorser or advocate of a lot of issues and concerns for which you have put up foundations. Please submit a list of such entities and their financial statements, if any. We have information that you receive donations and grants from foreigners and foreign entities. Please submit the list. And this are the questions left unanswered by ABS-CBN. They need to answer these questions in Congress for them to have their franchise renewal. Let us see if ABS-CBN can be able to get their renewal sooner. Once again, Full credit is given to Attorney Trixie Cruz Angeles for sharing the information. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share this to your social media account, and to your friends so they too can be informed. But most of all, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified for my future videos. Thank you and God bless.